I was just, I mean, I haven't really talked to our, our medical staff yet. I normally like to wait till after practice and tonight after guys have gotten in and showered and went into the training room. So as far as who for sure is not going to play, I won't know a lot of that until tomorrow. And um, I'm sure we'll let you guys know as soon as we do. It's exciting to have him back. You know, obviously he's been with us through all the off season, and um, obviously there's some catching up to do. But he's he's been in, in the system, was there in OTAs and around the uh, coaches. So hopefully he can uh, get back up to speed quickly. Couple there, you brought in the team for a message. What was, what did you say? Well, I'm not, I'm not interested in fights. I'm interested in good football players. You know, and I know things get, you know, heated a little bit every now and then. But uh, we got to keep our cool, keep our poise. We got to be a team that keeps their poise, and we will. You know, guys understand that that happens uh, every now and then, and that's probably the first time it's happened in quite a while for a football team. So, um, guys are practicing hard and trying to get after it, and we'll, like I said, it happen every now and then, but we'll control that. Fast, long, tall, big, can catch, all those good things. No, he's, he's done a good job. So, again, you know, we're just working our process with him, and uh, we'll get him um, out there and, and doing more as we move forward. Do you have a chance he might play tomorrow? I hadn't sat down and thought about any of those things yet. Still a little early. You just gave me that eye, like I'm supposed to know tonight. I'm not supposed to. We play Thursday. Today's, thought, today's I thought, Tuesday. I thought, I thought him, he might have an idea. No. I think, and more than likely, I mean, probably not, you know, but we'll see. Is, is K1 Williams' absence excused or unexcused? Uh, again, I, we'll talk about that at a different time. You know, I, again, I just think there's a lot of missed messages that are going on as far as all that's concerned. And I think we'll deal with it, and I'm sure we'll all talk about it at the appropriate time. He's still gone? I'm sorry? Is he still gone? I'm not going to even comment on that right now. Can you expand a little bit uh, now on uh, how Cam Irving did in the game and just where he's at? You think in his development? He's only played seven games at center. Absolutely. No, he did some really good things, and there's some things he needs to clean up. Uh, but I think, um, you know, I think Cam has all the characteristics that we're looking for. And again, you know, this is his first year in the National Football League playing center. So, again, that was our first preseason game, and I'm not, you know, we're chasing perfection, but I didn't expect perfection in the first night. So. Um, you know, from, from Cam to everyone across our lines and everyone across our team, uh, we need to get better. We need to get better as the Cleveland Browns football team. So, but there are some things he did well, and there are some things he's got to clean up. Is it, is it a challenge for him of being a little taller than normal for a center? And yeah. What are those? I'm sure it is. There's no question. I mean, that's a great question, but I also think he's very athletic. You know, he can bend. So, um, and there's no doubt he needs to make himself a little smaller at times. Uh, when you play different type of, uh, you know, nose guards or three techniques or whatever that is. But I think he has the, uh, the characteristics, as I said, to, to get that done. Thank you. Uh, shedding light on Austin Davis. I didn't see him out there today. Right. I think he's still in the concussion protocol. Mm -hmm. Speaking with a new staff and a young team, how hard is it trying to find that balance during the preseason of getting your team ready, evaluating the roster, and then also trying to keep everybody healthy? Absolutely, that's a great question. It can be tough because, again, you know, we're trying to build um, a team, like you said, but we're also trying to evaluate our team and also trying to teach our team how to win, you know, and do things the right way. Um, but at the end of the day, we know what preseason games are about. It's about getting ready, you know, and, e and evaluating our team and getting ready for the regular season. So um, it can be tough, but at the same time, you know, we, we kind of balance that out. Um, and, and there's been great discussions, you know, from our front office and the coaches, and I think uh, we're working through that extremely well. You look, I mean, you, I know, I, jealous is the right word, but do you look at teams like Green Bay and say they already know exactly what they're doing because that system's been in place so long that, you know, we're way behind, we have to catch up? Well, I don't look at it like that. We're a new staff. You said it. You know, we're a new staff, when, you know, new everything. And a year from now, we won't be saying that. You know, we'll be – like those teams that you just mentioned. So I feel good about what we're doing and where we're headed. And I understand that this is a process and it's the first part of it. You know, we're putting it together and we're starting from the ground floor. And we're going to work our way up. And that's what we're going to do. How have you seen Cody respond in practice these last few days and what do you expect from him from Thursday? Good. He's, I mean, again, Cody's resilient. You know, he's going to battle and, and work. I mean, again, like I said, he was, he'd probably be the first to tell you he wanted to do some other things the other night. 
Uh, he was fortunate to throw a touchdown his first NFL game, but he also has some things uh, happen that you know he wished didn't. But he'll learn from it and grow from it. You've had a good opportunity to take a look at Nick Hayden and John Hughes' absence. How has he been doing there, and is it going to be kind of a battle for John to come back and try to get that job back? Well, I think Nick's done a good job. You know, and again, um, you know, until John you know is ready to go and play, we'll, we'll be able to evaluate that. But uh, again, we're just glad to have him back in the building and, and have him have a chance to get back out there and compete with his teammates. But, but Nick has done a good job. You're not just that, uh, that's, that safety that uh, meter got in Green Bay, but how, long, how has he been playing for you? He's been playing well. He practices. I mean, the guy's very accountable. He's there every day. He works extremely hard. Uh, he made some big plays, football plays, you know, by clogging holes, you know, getting people off of double teams and then making plays, making a safety. So uh, I think he's done a great job. And again, I think you guys are saying his name a lot more. I know we are because he's making plays and we can hope he continues to do so. When you see uh, Corey and Josh and Terrell standing next to each other, do you have thoughts of what it could be like when those guys are together? And what There's a lot do? of thoughts that go through my mind. I can't tell you all of them, but uh, no, they are, I mean, they're a talented trio. And uh, we have some other guys too, you know. But they are those guys have uh, they they have size, they have speed, they have length, they have the ability to make plays on the ball, and um, that's exciting. But again, we haven't had them all out there together yet, really. Um, they've been out there for the past couple of days doing some things. But hopefully, we can in the future, uh, if that all works out, get all these guys out there playing together uh, for our offensive football team. You talked about being on the ground floor of building this. Joe Thomas said earlier today that. He doesn't see any reason why the Browns can't make the playoffs this year. What does it mean that a Hall of Fame caliber player like that is approaching this season, even though there are a lot of things that are new with, with that attitude? Well, I think um, that's the environment we've created, you know, and he's a part of that environment. And I said to our team before, in front of Joe, that he deserves the opportunity to be on a team that challenges for the division championship, goes to the playoffs, and win the game. I mean, that, that's what this is all about. And we have to help him get there. That's our job. The coaches, the other players, he's been here. He's a cornerstone of this organization. So it thrills me that he thinks that way, that he feels that way. And I hope it burns a fire in all of our players and coaches that he feels that way, because that's what we're chasing. That's what we're about. And that's what we need to do.